In this video, we'll introduce you to an updated workflow for iPhones and iPads and SolarWinds RMM using our new Apple Mac device management service. It starts by setting up a certificate pair with Apple, where you come in here and you enter in an Apple ID that you'll remember, and downloading a CSR that will then take to the Apple push notification portal and exchange with Apple in order to activate the service. Agree to the terms and then upload the CSR. And Apple gives you back a push notification certificate that you want to download. And then when you come back to the RMM dashboard, you'll be asked to upload it to match the certificate signing request that you just did. We have you punch in your Apple ID here so you can remember at renewal time which one you used uh, to make renewals a little bit easier. But once you give it the certificate, the service is set to go. Now, normally this makes your Macs also start to ask for enrollment, but we're talking about iOS devices here. So we added an option with Mac Agent version 361 to turn that off for the Mac. So that way, if you just want to deal with your iPhones and iPads, but aren't ready to onboard Macs using device management this time, you can uncheck this box and your Macs will not prompt for enrollment. You can still do enrollment on Macs manually piecemeal with an automated task. Now we would go to add a mobile device. This workflow, if you've used it before, is going to feel very familiar. You assign the client site, add the device by name, and give it an email address that you can receive email on the device itself. So put their email here. And what happens then is the device shows up in the dashboard as an unregistered device, uh, and you have to switch to the device to complete the enrollment. So let's do that. Let's go take a look at our iPhone. So here on our iPhone, you can see I'm running iOS 14. Uh, I go to my email and I've received an email. Here's the email from the system. We're just gonna click here uh, to take us to the website where we can download our profile. So if we scroll down a little bit here, you can see there's the download button, hit it. It asks if you wanna be okay with that, yes. So there's a little bit of manual jump that you gotta go through here. So we're gonna go back to the settings app and inside of settings, you can see the profile is downloaded up there at the top. We'll tap install. We'll punch in our password. A few more warnings for the user to be aware of. We click trust. And now it's done. It's installed. It's enrolled. So let's come back to our dashboard here and refresh the screen. And you can see, okay, hey, now we know uh, about the device. It's checked in a couple minutes ago. We're starting to pull some information about it, which is great. So it used to be that you would come here down to the old mobile device management settings and, and create a policy. Well, we don't use this anymore. Uh, you'll notice that a warning appears here to tell you what to do next. Your default policies and all of your IO, old iOS policies are here for reference, but you can't create new ones uh, for iOS anymore. So what you do instead is the same thing that you did with Mac device management. You went to the profile library and you created a profile. Now there's a, a bazillion tools out there uh, to create these. Um, this one in particular is nice because you can get it on the Mac App Store and on the Windows App Store, so you can run it uh, on Windows 10. You can see all the different payloads that I can provide to iOS devices. So you're no longer limited to just what the old MDM could do, uh, but you have anything under the sun, including third party uh, profiles that you might want to push to iOS devices that aren't uh, part of the system. So I'm going to add some restrictions here. And you can see, again, we've got a ton of restrictions now, just a whole bunch of them. Uh, one really important note is that pay attention to this supervised only thing here. If you are just adding a user's iPhone that's already set up, ones that say supervised only aren't going to work. All right. You have to set up supervision at the beginning of the device by wiping the device and provisioning it through Apple Configurator. So unless you've done that step, uh, supervised only isn't going to work here. But again, there's lots of stuff here available, even for things where the device is not supervised that you may want to take advantage of, and now you can. So for example, I'm just going to go here and I'm going to disallow the camera. Now, FaceTime is supervised only, but I'm going to turn off the whole darn camera. 
Uh, I'm going to turn off some other stuff too, but then I save this as a, a mobile config file, which is a simple XML file. I come here and I upload it, and you can see I already uploaded it to the profiles. And now I right click on the device and I can click install and send that profile down to the actual iPhone. So I'm going to push this uh, restrictions one and hit install and you can see there you go now if we switch back to device real quick take a look at that camera icon in the upper right remember that's one of the things i shut off and without any extra interaction from me boop, it's gone uh, along with the other things that are restricted in fact if i come into settings here and i go down to profiles under general i look at device management there's our enrollment then you can see the restrictions that now came with it and all the things I turned off. And again, none of these require supervision. So they all work just great. Now, if I want to see what I've done on here, I can right click and say view and see what I got. Um, and I can click remove profiles here as well, also from available from the right click menu uh, to get rid of that restriction. Again, no interaction. This is all done over the air very, very quickly. Uh, but I'll click remove to get rid of it just like that. Boom, it's done. Come back to the device. Keep an eye on it for just a second. And boom, the camera's back. And there you go. And this is not sped up for uh, video purposes. That's in real time. That's how quick it was. So uh, we've also got the, some commands here, some commands that are really important, uh, like locking the device and wiping the device uh, and seeing the command history. Uh, that has uh, stuff that's been performed on the device. Now, we're going to continue to add to that contextual menu with commands. There's a, a lot of commands that, that we want to add here that are available from Apple APIs at this point. So those you'll start to see those show up. But what about a device that uh, I had provisioned previously? So you can see right here this green checkbox uh, means that it's in the new system. But if I don't have a green checkbox and I right click on it, you'll notice the right click looks significantly different in that it's got all the, the old commands and uh, none of the new profiles that I can push. So I'm going to update this guy by sending it a new provisioning going through the setup steps again. Again, send to their email, not to yours. Uh, but bear in mind, this device will continue to check in and work with the old MDM until the end of March. If we switch over to the iPad, you can see its email. Here's the email. Great. Click here to register. Takes you to that same website we saw earlier where you click there to get your profile. This is a slightly different experience because this uh, version of iOS is a little bit older, but same deal. I'm going to authenticate, install the profile, tell it I trust it. Only this time it's going to error out. Because an Apple device can only have one device management enrollment at a time. You can't have more than one. And this one still has the old one for our old MDM. So we're going to come here. We're going to remove that first. Again, it's under general settings, general profile. And now that no enrollment profiles are installed, I can just switch back to the uh, website that the email took me to, authenticate, install, trust, and voila it's enrolled properly in the new uh, device management solution. So if I come back to the dashboard at this point and I simply refresh the north pane, you can see, aha, it's changed. It's got the green checkbox now, and I can do the pushing of the individual profiles. We hope you think this is a very valuable improvement, and stay tuned. Lots more benefits coming.